Now I'm a little bit overdue for this video, but I thought I would show you guys a leg dominant HIIT workout. We're gonna be doing a lot of jumping and moving and quad and hamstring work. Just something to get your muscles moving, especially after a week you've taken off or if you've just been busy with schoolwork or you went on spring break trip and you didn't go to the gym because for the most part you're not going to go to the gym if you're out having fun on your spring break. So I thought that I would show you guys a leg dominant HIIT workout. Stuff that you always want to make sure you're focusing on whenever you're doing a HIIT workout is that you're doing the exercises correctly with the right form. A lot of times if you're doing walking lunges or jumping lunges or jumping squats, you don't want to give up form just to be able to get all your reps in. So just focus on getting every rep right and don't care about exactly how long it takes you because if you're doing it really fast, I mean, depending on your goals, as long as you finish the workout, that's really what matters. So don't worry so much about the time and just about getting every movement right. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you were someone who didn't work out during your spring break. And let's go ahead and get on to the workout. So right away, we're gonna jump into doing two walking lunges and then two jumping lunges. You wanna make sure that your knee doesn't go over your toes, um, just to avoid any knee injuries or overextending your knee. And you wanna make sure that you're pushing up through your heel and not your toes. And like I said, make sure that you really focus on what you're doing, that way you get the most out of your workout instead of just going fast. So we're gonna end up doing 20 regular lunges and 20 reps with the hopping lunges so pretty much you're going to be counting to a total of 40 and sometimes certain exercises can be confusing so i always leave the full workout in the description box below if you guys want to check that out and take a screenshot or write it down whatever you want to do that way you can take it to the gym the next time you're there And then we're gonna go straight into a burpee and then come up and do a squat jump. So you're gonna go down into the burpee, you're gonna come up and do two squat jumps, and then you're gonna go right back down. And here's a little bit of an easier burpee. Instead of doing the push-up, you just bring your chest to the ground and then you push up with your arms. And again, make sure on these that you're doing the correct form. It's very easy to give up form just to get the reps done with. And here, my personal favorite, you feel a little bit like a karate kid, but we're gonna be going into a squat to a side kick. And make sure that every time you bring your leg up that you're actually kicking. You don't wanna just be kind of bringing it up to the side like a leg lift. You really wanna make sure that you're kicking as hard as you can to the side, as if you're kicking a punching bag. And then the very last thing we're gonna do is going to be the step ups. You're just gonna rotate back and forth and we're gonna be doing 10 on each leg. So it's just an easy 20 reps and then you're gonna be done and then you're gonna repeat this anywhere from two to three times more if you're feeling crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.